So two players with two new teams. You know, it's surprising how funny it is to uh, to to get players to give us pictures. Uh, <laughs> our well, I know our editors. Well, Cruncher have been good at giving us those pictures, but well, Cruncher hasn't. Oh, oh updated, you mean about pictures. updated pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's actually funny because I know the NASL back there. Oh, well, the editing team. We always like, ah, <laughs> we need new pictures. And then we can't Me use too. pictures. Can't use this pictures. Anyway, let's talk about predictions of these two players, Thorzane and Cruncher. It is evil geniuses, Thorzane. Uh, but I think he's going to take it. Oh, I so think pretty, he's yeah, the pretty Thorzane. big favorite in uh, this. That's really, that's really the case, too. I think Thorzane is really favorite just because it's Thorzane, one of the top foreigners currently uh, in the world. Main people, you know, point to him is, is it... The fact that he's getting picked up by EG, is that some sort of curse? No, it's just going to be the fact that he's playing against some of the best players in the world. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and introduce our players officially before we get any more business started. In the bottom left, we have Thorzen and Marcus Yuklov from Team Evil Geniuses as the Green Terran. And he's just going to be doing everything pretty normally, getting his barracks right next to his command center, getting harassed by this orange probe. Who is he, Andre? He is, of course, Cruncher. He's spawning over here as the orange perk does. And I love his color, by the way. Last game, I'm telling you, purple is like the toughest to actually watch, especially when there's creep around. So I'm glad it's orange and green this time around. Side note. But look at this. We have a gas coming up for Thorzane. I think that's a more standard thing to do on dual site, so I don't know why I just said it like that. Yeah. But the reason why we don't see gas as fast expansions as much on this map is because that natural is so open. Yeah. So something like three gate actually beats uh, just a simple gasless fast expansion. Because if I see all the bunkers actually positioned to defend this way, you just walk around and then you go and attack on this side. Yeah, the very common one gate expand into three gate is very powerful. In fact, not just that, but also the standard squirrel style where you go gate robo gate and then pressure and up with you know the rushing for Colossus, whatever you want to do based off that against Gasus is also really strong on this map, just again because the multiple avenues of attack and making it a little bit harder for the defender to cover more concave. Um, you see Crunch is going for a gas deal. Now, this is also because on dual site, 1 is really good on this map. Yes. And uh, it's, been noticed, it's been notable that Protoss have a hard time holding the natural because of that as well. But I don't see a gas deal that often in TVP. No. Um, <laughs> well, it limits options. I kind of like it right now because it actually shows that Thorzane is not going for any sort of 1-1-1 with only two SCVs on gas. Mm. Um, this is either the slowest 1-1-1, <laughs> a reactor expansion, or Sickest some sort of two racks. Ever. It could be two racks, three racks, any sort of racks pressure. Um, so I think Cruncher actually knows exactly what his opponent is doing just based on this, which is crazy. Um, on the other side, Cruncher is looking to do a ton of mind games as well. Getting a second assimilator actually says, I can do so many different openings, you need to be careful. So what he's effectively done is limited Thorzane's options to do a ton of builds, and at the same time giving himself a lot of options, although he has incurred a, a little bit of loss just for that. The loss is, of course, making that assimilator, uh, actually both assimilators, and committing to those minerals and not to something like a fast expansion. Uh, Thorzane's been riding a really hot hand in uh, TVP. Uh, co of course, everyone by now knows that he got knocked out of the Spring Arena by Inori. But before that, he's been, he only lost uh, six games in the past two months. And it's been games to like Sasa, uh, Bling, really, really solid players. He's beaten other people like Alicia, Grubby, Titan, Songho, also known as Killer JYP. These really good people. Well, JYP's not that great <laughs> in uh, BBT. But regardless, it's been... Uh, it's been a fantastic couple months from Thorzane. Uh, he's been playing really well, and so people very much favor him. But at the same time, Cruncher's kind of this underdog. And last time we saw him play against Select, he wasn't looking too bad. There was moments where it's like, wow, Cruncher might be able to do this. But then Select picked him apart with drops, especially on Tolerate Malter. He was like dragging everywhere between the three bases. So Cruncher just has to play solid. And I think he has a chance to at least take a game off, which does matter in terms of positioning for their division. Cruncher's currently one and four. Uh, which is because he had that walkover caps. Yeah, so he's not doing too well right now. Thorzane is looking to expand, so I like how he's actually expanded from here. Um, he actually defends against a ton of different builds just because he gets a super fast stim. And with bunkers, obviously stim in bunkers gives you that extra 400 HP and you're doing a ton of damage. Um, but it looks like Cruncher is also expanding over here. It looks yep. like Thorzane is also saying that 
He's experiencing a little bit of lag. Yeah, but uh, don't worry, guys. The series is from replay. So this is not actual live lag. Just a little bit of uh, hiccups, I guess, from uh, wherever Thorzane was playing. Actually, this was played with Passport, so this is from the arena, actually. So that's why yeah. uh, that explains a lot, maybe. There's a lot of computers at MLG, who, who hopefully doesn't lag over there. Thorzane is finally getting his factory up. Now, he uh, hasn't actually decided to move out in pressure. Sometimes, you know, we see uh, Thorzane go out for that pressure, but he didn't get anything like because of his first upgrade has been stem, just like you were pointing out. Now, we see four more gates coming out of Cruncher, putting him at a total of six. He's on the two gases with one probe on his third. Nope, just a couple of more. So he does have a little bit of gas intake, but... This uh, looks like we're going to have a pretty aggressive push coming oh from Oh, man. And he was able to see three sentries. That should be a little bit of a tell. Maybe not. Three sentries mm. is still pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, two sentries, I think, is the super standard these days. But it looks like Thorzane will push out. This is the anti-timing, I think, for him. Uh, now it just depends if Cruncher pushes out at the same time. Oh my god, Cruncher is pushing out at the same time! Ooh, and he, he, he needs good. to, he wants to go to the pylon to meet up, and they're gonna meet in oh, the most unfortunate Cruncher circumstances, and Thorzane does have stim, so he can chase down these units. Now he doesn't have concussive shells, and it looks like Cruncher's gonna be forced to burn a lot of his energy. He's gonna force yield again, trapping some of those units out, but uh, a lot of damage has been oh done. Yeah. As I think three of those sentries did drop from Cruncher as well as a handful of energy, delaying the push significantly. And with that, I mean, Thorzane should know. Like, it's wow, actually 450 no. mana. That's a lot of energy right there that you're um, you're not able to actually do anything with. It's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Someone's been playing D3 well, a I always, too much. I always called it mana. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I always called it mana. So uh, okay. it's from the Warcraft 3 days. Or Warcraft 2 days, Fair rather. Enough. I never played Warcraft 2. I don't think I was alive during. Oh, it was. It definitely was. I will, I am really young, man. I was born in the nineties. I know. Ninety-seven is, uh, is a pretty good mount, good year, though. <laughs> we see that the country is still moving out here. Lots of good things happened in the nineties, but fashion trends were not one of them, dude. As uh, if you ever see anything from the nineties, it's absolutely horrible. But look at this. We see an old-fashioned six gate. Talk about throwback from the nineties. This is a throwback to the two thousand and ten pushes, where we see a lot of MC aggression. Force fields come out everywhere. Thorzane trying to defend. Doesn't have that bunker up just yet, but the force fields actually helping Thorzane, making sure that Zells can't get in there. And Cruncher left with only sentries. Now he does keep a lot of his sentries, but he doesn't have anything else really. No energy really on those sentries either. Yeah, Zealot. Zealot Sentry isn't too strong against this build in general. Uh, and now that the medevacs are out, it, it gives him the ability to actually counterattack at this point. So now Cruncher can be punished if he oversteps just a slight, just a smidge, he will be punished like crazy. A Hellion will get in here and scout everything that's going on. He will see, oh my god, okay, he won't see it, never mind. But additional gateways are actually being placed. Another two gateways, so this uh. is eight gateway pressure. But he uh, has a Dark Templar Shrine in production, as well as getting Charge. I like that. So yeah, Charge Archon can be very strong, especially if you see a significant concentration of Marauders. Marauders are terrible <laughs> against Archons, uh, let me tell you. Uh, so they don't really have a lot of ability to kite. Nonetheless, Thorzane, he's getting his concussive shells as well as his plus one armor, but he has plus one weapons, which could be very significant. The Thorzane does get trapped here, but uh, there's not a lot of units oh. of actual strength from Cruncher. He's got a lot of sentries and nothing else. GG. And Thorzane uh, obliged to commit to that attack and takes it very convincingly 1-0. I think if Cruncher actually just backed up from the, the center of the map and didn't waste so much energy, he would have been great. Thorzane is obviously attacking into him. He doesn't have medevacs at that point. Just kill all those units, go for a nice big counterattack, and you have that extra round of units to actually work with as well. Uh, but overall, if I had to analyze the game, I think Thorzane did the perfect build for the map and for Cruncher's build as well. Uh, there were a lot of builds that Cruncher was capable of, but I think that was probably the worst build he could have done against Thorzane's. Mm. Um, and it, it's not a, a matter of skill. It's not a matter of... Um, you know, Cruncher did something bad or, you know, the the it's scouting the was bad or anything. Choice. It was just a build order choice yeah, and it, it was unfortunate. Best. I don't think it's not necessarily the best for the map either, especially geography. It's, uh, there's just, I don't think the, the engagement he got was exactly good, but nonetheless, Cruncher... Yeah, uh, I mean, for that, it's it's okay. It, as you said, it, it's not the best. Um, you're looking to always attack your opponent and have them defended with a command center, and then you're looking to just get that edge. 
But if we think of what happened, he went for an expansion at basically the same time, so he'll never really have that huge edge that he's looking for uh, just because both of them are producing the same amount of army at the same time. Yep. So kind of difficult. And the uh, force field energy burned in the middle of the map proved insurmountably at d advantageous for Thorzane as uh, he was able to ride that momentum victory. Thank you so much to Kingston HyperX, the people who provided SSD and memories. If you like the NASL Sunday showdown next week between Gnaniwa and QXC, make sure to get your subscriber pass for that. Don't go anywhere. Game number two between Cruncher and Thorzane. We'll find out if Cruncher is able to take a game off Thorzane or we've just simply able to take the sweep. More answers after this break.